My name is uh, Dr. Anna Enrutemu, and uh, I've been at SUA for many years. I started in 2005, where I did two phases of the NIDA Finance Project, one on uh, development of enterprise in fruit and vegetable drying, another one was uh, developing, growing innovative entrepreneurs. With that experience and with that work that I was doing, I was invited to formulate in the formulation of BSU program. Later on, I became the chair of the BSU project that is actually exiting right now. And uh, what we have been doing could not just stop there. We have already built the capacity and very strong collaboration with the universities in Denmark. So um, we came up with this idea of developing a center of excellence for agroecology, aquaculture, and agribusiness. But why center of excellence in these three areas? First and foremost, climate change is a huge problem in the world. And this applies to Tanzania and many developing countries. And we are facing big problems in trying to find out how can we mitigate climate change? How can you do, do things better? And agroecology comes in because it's a way that we can make farmers really use inputs and resources much more optimally. I'm an economist, so I'll say optimization of resource use is very, very important, but we have to do it also sustainably. The center, the idea of the center is that we are going to really come up with the science, technology, and things that will make us continue living comfortably, but also being able to maintain the world, the environment, the ecosystem, and everything. So uh, given that we have already developed the capacity in the three areas, we were thinking that let us apply this. There are a lot of projects about green growth, about secular economy, about secular bioeconomy, and so forth and this science has to be applied. What is really in the bottom of my heart is that the science universities and research, research centers that is being produced, the knowledge. We start from data, we go into information, we create knowledge. That knowledge needs to become wisdom. And this comes from application of knowledge. Wisdom comes from the application of knowledge. 